I've never known Yostola to doze off in the middle of research before. Close my eyes for one moment. How long have you two been here? Something to that effect. I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion finally claimed me. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, looking for hints, at least. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. So I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists, and you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. So I promised Runa. But twould seem I've set myself a nigh impossible task. You needn't be so hard on yourself. The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. Oh, you think me discouraged? I assure you, tis quite the opposite. A daunting challenge and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. A scholar in her element. Indeed. Was there something else you wished to ask of me? Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history, and much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. If those tales are true, then he may have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries, as if I could refuse. And whence do we embark upon this expedition? Akiali, by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Uriange as well. He was in Thalmazain, last we heard. Then by all means, let us recruit him, and be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> 